What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Spark Gap Garage. And in today's episode, we are heading to our famous Blackhawk Farm Raceway. Pretty cool track. Got the Black Beauty out, testing out the trailer. We're excited. Let's jump into this video. So a couple of things that have changed, obviously strapped down the car because you know, safety and uh, you know, I don't wanna you know, be in danger. I'm in danger. Look at that. Look at that. That's not just for looks. Yeah, buddy. There's some uh, some very schmancy holes with all the metal filings on there. Whatever, that'll get blown off. Same with all that. Um, but get the heat out. That's basically what that's for. Yes, I will paint it. I will be painting. The hood will come off, paint, all that good stuff. Get the nice midnight purple wheels. Got the OEM seat for now. I got another Sparco seat to go over there. Just didn't have time. Weight reduction, weight reduction, weight reduction nothing back there <laughs> but that one's locked <laughs> holding up pretty good we got an exhaust leak on the car but that's fine we are allowed to this will all get cleaned up but yes this is safe that is OEM seat harness mounting bracket bolts tight i don't want to die so i made those plates and this goes straight to chassis so I made those plates down there yeah Alrighty, blackhawk farm raceway we had two practice sessions already happened we're just kind of playing around with cars right now. We're not going out on the third practice session, just letting our cars kind of cool down, getting some things fine tuned. But I'm gonna do some walk arounds of uh, obviously my car, but I'm also here with the guys with Stage Racing. I'm gonna post the link to, or you guys can search it. You guys are smart enough to uh, search it. But Stage Racing is the racing team I'm with, and we're gonna go take a look at some, uh, some of their beauties. We got a BRZ. Stage racing. Porsche Carrera. There's Midnight Special. A little dirty. This is Miguel Cortez's Dodge Neon SRT4 swapped. He has extensive modifications done. Beautiful carbon fiber hood, side vents for the wheel fenders. The spoiler that we're gonna see on the back, uh, as long as with the splitter on the front, very well done on his end. Eventually we will have spoiler for spoiler alerts. The trailer, beautiful. Absolutely works perfect. Gotta obviously do some upgrades. We already talked about this. So unfortunately my GoPro died, um, lost everything. Lost all the footage for racing and stuff. So SIM card needs to be replaced. We will get that replaced. The battery, which is kind of stupid, overheated too, which is, eh. but I have, I have a theory that has a lot to do with the temperature of the car. So after the first practice session, I used a temp gun and 
it was about 125 degrees inside car. That's a little warm, eh, but oh well. So we'll get that situated. Uh, sorry, no in race car footage. I apologize. I do have videos out. Um, if you go to my channel, you can see some Blackhawk Farm Raceway inside the cab um, ride along videos. Um, definitely check that out, please. But yeah, we're just gonna enjoy a beautiful day here at Blackhawk Farm Raceway and just get a little more racing done. Got some race cars parked up on the side. These guys are extremely fast. We have, can't see him. That black right there. The black Corvette Stingray. That's my opponent. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize that I was not able to do some GoPro action inside the car. I promise you, we will definitely be doing that next time. I really, really apologize for that. So let's talk about the car. We'll talk about the trailer, you know, this event in a, as a whole, you know, whole car, phenomenal. Different beast. Uh, my previous personal best here at Blackhawk Farms was a one minute, 32 second and some odd you know change i hit a brand new high uh, personal best at one minute 31 seconds i know that doesn't sound like a lot but when you're doing 100 plus miles an hour pretty good um very very you know humbling you know as far as you know relearning the car the you know the weight distribution i did a lot uh weight reduction with the sunroof deletes i know you guys haven't seen that yet um the passenger seat, we're gonna change that out to a Sparco racing seat, not too fancy, but it's still gonna be a lighter weight racing seat. Um, but overall, I ran the the good old Black Biddy here in slapstick mode, and if you're not too familiar with that is, instead of just putting it in drive, you actually put it in, um, it's pretty much drive, but you move the shifter over to where it says one, two, three, four, so instead of having, let's say, five or six gears, now I only got four, but the upside to that is, one, I can control the shift points of the car. I can also control, you know, when I, when I want to downshift, upshift, which is shift point, duh, whatever. Um, a lot more control of the vehicle. Night and day, that's actually what I ran here, was in slapstick mode, and a lot of you are like, well, he's just now figuring that out. I'm, I'm learning my baby, I'm learning it. But um, different animal. And from now on, I will be running in slapstick mode, shift, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> so the car handled amazing. Uh, my first race uh, lap, you know, practice lap, it got pretty pretty hot. It was, it was pretty toasty here, about 87, 88 degrees. Uh, the track was pretty damp. So a lot of, you know, car getting, happy or unhappy, not really liking the heat, the humidity, and then also with the track being a little damp because it rained yesterday, a little bit of slipperiness, but going into the second pra uh, practice section, everything dried up, life was beautiful. Um, I ended up getting black flag because I'm stupid. 
Um, going out on the track, you are supposed to stay to yellow line on driver's side. So driver, driver to the right of the yellow line all the way into the first corner. Me being as stupid as I am, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna cut across right now. Yeah, not a good idea. So I got black flagged twice. Doesn't mean uh, you know disqualification or anything like that. That's not what that meant. It just means don't do that again. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. You thought you know you you would think that the first time would be a hey dummy don't do that again. No, I had to go in for it twice. Go figure. So scolding on my end. I, I got talked to uh, by the crew chiefs and stuff like that. Never happened since. Um, so. You're probably wondering how the race went or you just don't care i i mean i'm just joking guys so we got second place that probably means nothing you didn't get first place brother second place to me means uh you know it, it it's kind of hard to describe uh, this is not autocross racing this is something where you Put a little time and effort into uh, relearning stuff. So a lot of you are like, well, second place isn't first place. You didn't do it for Dale. You didn't, uh, you know, you ain't first or last. Guys, there's a lot of improvements that I understand I need to make on this track. Um, I, I'm still learning the car, how she handles. Definitely needs an alignment. That's for certain. Corner balancing. Uh, if you're not too familiar with that, what that is, you know, with the coilover setup, they can adjust how much weight is on each tire, kind of balance it out. That needs to get done like, like that. Um, and then a lot of suspension stuff that needs to get done too, as far as just bushings and all that goody goodness. That's going to have to happen in the off season when we got a little more time. But overall, very well impressed with midnight special here um, the trailer you're like oh now he's finally talking about the trailer thing that's what we're here for the trailer phenomenal hauled the car from my house to here now no issue at all it's barely even notice it perfect absolutely perfect loading the car up and down no issues at all it's a little tight but no issues at all so you're probably thinking to yourselves what's next you know what's what's the next video what's he gonna do kind of thing so I gotta prepare for next month later in July I'm going to be participating in a tire rack SCCA race with stage racing the guys that I was partying with here um, we are all gonna rally kind of uh, I shouldn't say rally car uh, today junior convoy we're all gonna convoy um, to this event. We got an Airbnb, it's gonna be legitness. Legitness, it's gonna be sweet. The car is gonna have a lot more modifications done. So this is where the next videos you're gonna see are gonna be some small upgrades on the trailer and then Midnight Special herself. We're gonna get some more modifications done. So it's gonna be good, good time. So the really nice thing about doing this small trip or event at Blackhawk Farm Raceway is I get to work out a lot of the bigger bugs uh, situations where, you know, just to get the car up on the trailer, how does it handle, you know, stuff like that. We have not taken on the interstate yet. That is something I will be doing, um, not, you know, uh, during the actual day before the race, I want to actually do it probably next week sometime. So, you know, give me a month to play around with the trailer, play around with the car, figure things out. That way when we go to this next event, then we're a lot more prepared. So this event was absolutely perfect. And I thank my wife for actually suggesting this. And Miguel, um, he's the one of the lead guys at Stage Racing. I know you're gonna be watching this video. You, yes, I appreciate your guys' uh, suggestion and definitely was a good idea. Uh, all right, with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the video here. I wanna thank each and every one of you who have subscribed. We officially have reached over 300 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know that's not a lot. Like, who's, this guy's not a real YouTuber, a million. 
we're not we're not gonna be one of those you know channels that have 10 million billion subscribers no I want to be down to earth and that's that's the whole intention with uh, spark gap garage we want to bring you quality content uh, even though my editing skills are pretty shitty uh, lacking I should say shitty lacking um, but we'll get there so thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for your comments advice on you know the car the car hauler you know I've, I've already received a bunch of comments on well why did you do it this way maybe try this you know I really really appreciate that and any feedback that you guys might have definitely might be something that I didn't think of and that could be a very good idea so please feel free to comment um, if you're new to the channel definitely please consider subscribing I'm not gonna force you there's no gun in any heads we're not doing that um, but if you would I would definitely appreciate that but thank you so much we'll see you in the next video it'll probably be on a little more car hauler car stuff but Thank you. Stay safe. We love you. See you in the next video.